This is another major setback for the administration that tries to handle the flood of migrant families and children. Three times now, judges in the liberal Ninth Circuit rejected the president's attempt to deter the surge from Central America. The latest federal judge, Richard Seberg, in San Francisco, stopped the administration from forcing asylum seekers to wait in Mexico. Now, the policy was meant to halt asylum fraud by stopping families from disappearing in the U.S. and to reduce catch and release, since the U.S. has 3,000 beds for 60,000 families. The ruling takes effect Friday, allowing an appeal. However, the 11 migrant plaintiffs now in Mexico must be brought to the U.S., and no more asylum seekers can be forced to stay south of the border. Seaborg said in his ruling, he does not imply, quote, whether the migrant protection policy is a wise, intelligent, or humane policy, but rather, he said, it violates existing laws that ensure immigrants are not returned to unduly dangerous circumstances. President Trump responded hours later, tweeting, quote, a Ninth Circuit judge just ruled that Mexico is too dangerous for migrants, so unfair to the U.S., out of control. Monday's ruling is the third strike for the president. In June, a Ninth Circuit judge ruled against the family separation policy. In November, another judge ruled against limiting asylum seekers to ports of entry. Initially, the program only applied to a handful of immigrants. Last week, however, Homeland Security officials bill ordered a major expansion across the entire border that now must stop.